before you selected something? Yeah, well, I just pulled out um, a single mm -hmm. fan. I didn't select a book or anything. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> oh, great. Really great. <laughs> That's really cool. That's awesome. So if you requested something, the way it does it is it will um, automatically bring the request up. Mm -hmm. So it would trigger it and bring the spin up. I wouldn't have to do anything up there. Mm -hmm. um, so if you had requested this book, because it's in six different sections, you can kind of see the divider here. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's a configuration there. And when you put the book, when you um, go to put the book on hold, it'll show you, like, if this is the one you wanted, it'll have a 26 in this box here. So you know it's this section and this book. So you just pull it out and bring mm -hmm. it to the front. And how yep. does this get, uh, move, move to the other campus? If you, you track it? if you request it to be picked up at Steel Case, yeah, we'll send it to you. No, what I'm asking is that if you put, pick this book 26, mm -hmm. uh, once it reaches the Steel Case library, how does it recognize that this book is being requested by me? Oh, on, okay. On my what ID. you do is we pull it out of here, we scan it so that it knows it's out of the system, and then we put a hold on it. Okay. So this, the slip that'll come up will have your username.